Hashies of friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved these Bulani inspired braids. So stay tuned and keep watching. So I'm starting from freshly washed and blow dried hair. And as you can see from the title of the video, it is sponsored by Mama Model Hair. They sent me eight packs of this Africana braiding hair. It's ombre in the color O227. Really excited about using this ombre braiding hair because I've never tried ombre braiding hair. And of course, Mama Hair is ombre. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because as you can see, this is going to be a giveaway as well. So I'm going to be giving all the details of that at the very end of the video. So to start, I am starting, well, I've already sectioned off the front half of my hair. So I have to do, I'm going to work with the back first and do all the box braids back here. So I'm just going to start parting in the back. I do kind of like straight parts for this style, so I'm going to be like double checking in the mirror a whole lot to try to get the parts as straight as I can. Yeah, that's good enough. So now I'm going to just section this off. And I did already go through and add moisturizer all throughout my head so that I won't have to do it like once I'm like in each session going through so I don't have to worry about doing that because I already did it. I'm gonna work with this little section here. So pretty much for this style I think I'm just gonna be using some jam and of course some combs and brushes. So I'm gonna put some jam at the root of my hair kind of smooth it out like so and I've already sectioned off a piece to start with and I did straggle my ends so they won't be like blunt straight and the way I do my butt sprays is not like the proper way to do it of course if you've seen any of my other <laughs> hair videos I just um let me turn around I use my real hair as my third piece to start the braid so just gonna pull it a little bit not too tight and then just start braiding flyaways in the beginning of the braid so I'm going to have to use some jam going more down the shaft of my hair to smooth this real hair out that's how I'm going to do the boss braids part so I'm just going to finish up like going through this whole back section back here to the 
the front of my head completed the left side already and just let y'all know I literally just taught myself or was able to successfully cornrow with weave this week like I decided that I wanted to try this hairstyle like two or three weeks ago and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I can't cornrow especially with weave like it's always been super hard for me and somehow this week I just was practicing and was able to finally get the technique now it's still not like the neatest but I've definitely come a long way so I'm proud of myself I must say so but it's probably gonna be a little hard for me to explain what I'm doing just because I'm still like learning myself but I'm gonna try my best to explain so I noticed that the jam alone wasn't like working like slicking the hair good enough for me so I'm first using this Ampro Pro Style Gel and then going over it with jam for the front part for the cornrow part so I'm just gonna add some gel I mean not jam this is the gel add the gel on each side of the hair also add the jam on top So for each cornrow, for each cornrow, I've been adding three pieces of weave. So I've been adding like two smaller pieces and one thicker piece, but still not too big. And I add the small ones first. So I'm just gonna start just by braiding my real hair. I don't start with the weave just because even if I wanted to start with the weave at the roots, like I don't think I'd be able to do it because, like I said, I'm. I'm a new corn rower, so I'm a beginner. I'm not that advanced to be doing all of that. So I'm just going to start by breaking it up into three sections. Adding a little hair, grabbing the piece behind it. Adding hair from the other side, grabbing the piece in the front. Pulling and I just keep doing that. Like each time I pull back, grab a piece of hair. gonna start adding the weave right here when my hand is in this position so I'm gonna take a piece of hair place it under rip it with the this index finger and my thumb under there take this piece of hair back pull my hair and continue to braid like I was doing but now the weave is added in there and I'm just going to continue to braid. So I'm going to add hair, pull, add hair again. This time I'm grabbing my real hair, but I'm also taking that piece of weave and pulling it to the back to continue the braid. Again, I'm going to add some weave right here with my hands in this position. Taking my piece, placing it under, grabbing it with my index finger and thumb, pulling that piece to the back and the one still in the front, and continue to braid. Adding the hair, my real hair, picking up a piece of hair, I should say rather. So I'm moving a little bit so I'm trying to keep it still. And then I'm grabbing my real hair. And then I grab the weave and pull that to the back. Grabbing some more hair. Add my last piece of hair. Take the lead and it's back. And now I'm going to pick up.
to make it a little easier, I'm just going to turn and finish braiding to the side. And add some jam. <laughs> And this is the completion of all the braids. I did go ahead and trim my ends. And this hair is pretty smooth. I know with the um, other hair that I use. I can't remember the brand of it right now. But usually the braiding hair that I use is really, um, what do you call it? Like after you braid it, it's really... The texture is really, really coarse on the end, so you definitely have to dip it to smooth it out. But this hair is already pretty smooth on the ends, actually, which I actually like. But I'm still going to dip them in hot water just to like get them to all mend well together. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. Alright, I'm back, and this is my final look. I added a few accessories. I added some string, braid clips, and this little ring light thing in the middle. And now let's get into the details of the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away this big jumbo pack of Model Model Connectalon braiding hair. It is in the color 1B and it is three bundles and it's one pack that's 84 inches long. So in essence, it's equivalent to six packs of regular size braiding hair because it's so long. And this hairstyle, I only use four packs. So you can definitely achieve this look with this one pack of hair. So in order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is, of course, be subscribed to my channel and be one of my amazing Cashinista friends. Also, follow me on Instagram at one and only cash and comment on my Instagram post with this hairstyle so that I can catch your IG name and all of that good stuff. And comment and like this video itself and you'll be entered into the giveaway. I'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway on IG and I'll probably still make a video as well announcing the winner and the winner will be just chosen at random no strategic method to choose the winner so yeah I'm really excited about it and I'm looking forward to hearing from all of y'all thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time